Oh, hello. Welcome to episode four of Venture. Sorry, Dave, I had to cut you off. I was already hitting the transition screen. Episode four of Venture Ventures D&D actual play Twitch stream and podcast once I edit it. Uh, playing Baldur's Gate, Descent into Avernus. Hopefully we can, in the next month, no, there's no way. Next month, get out of Baldur's Gate and get into hell. Uh, but we'll see. And since we're starting a little late, let's just, let's just, uh, get right to it. Uh, so last session, currently we're in the Dungeon of the Dead Three. Last session, uh, they fought some zombies. Uh, they're, the Dungeon of the Dead Three, it's, the Dead Three are Bane, Ball, and Merkel, evil gods, cultists, a lot of cultists in there. Off the top of my head, let's see if I can do this. Bane is m the god of murder. Ball is torture, and Merkel is necromancy. So there's a lot of uh, spooky, gross stuff in this dungeon. And yeah, you guys fought some zombies in a very enclosed space when you didn't need to, uh, but nevertheless, you did, and it was fun. Just took a bit of time. Uh, and now you have entered another room and you found two people chained up, one of which was dead. One of whom was dead? Who or whom? I don't know. Uh, and the other was named Vendetta Cress, a tiefling. And she said she wanted to follow you guys out of here. And um, that's currently where you're at. I gave you the... Um, map of where you're at last time right is that correct the little clip of the map yes someone yes cool okay so pull that up. uh coming out of the room that you found vendetta uh you go the only way out is north and then it juts east the hallway and it goes down a set of stairs and then you see uh it turn south again um, and once you get to that corner you start to hear someone faintly yelling let me in let me in or just come out here just don't leave me by myself come on it's not cool guys this isn't this isn't the type of hazing I signed up for oh yeah we gotta get that guy out of the out of the sarcophagus D did we put a guy in a sarcophagus last week no, we only no, we, we, him in we let him out. We got him out of there. Oh the man! Oh, he opted to not go into the sarcophagus. I don't know why. It seemed like a great idea. Yeah, so that's anyway. what you hear. Vendetta is behind you guys. Real quick, what? Uh, where is that? Uh, the the dungeon posted. I can't find it. It's probably in our previous personal. Uh, yeah, it was in the video call. In the video call. Oh, okay. I just messaged in it, so it should pop back up. But I Perfect. think the last Good job, thing we had in there was that hallway. That we had the numbers us numbered. The zombie yeah. hallway? Yeah. Yeah, that was the last one we got. Okay, perfect. Let me add that to the picture. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to add. I'm just going to add this annotation I think that's please be the right one please be the right one yes it is so you guys are in D23 D22 that's where you found Vendetta and ignore the S uh, don't metagame but if you enjoy metagaming, go ahead. I'm not going to ruin your fun. So Vendetta was in D22. You went north. And it jutted east, goes downstairs, and then juts down again. And you're hearing it come from uh, just farther down. Hey, uh, um, Miss Cress, um, do you know anything about who might be yelling to get out and what that is in regards to? Mm-hmm. Uh, the cultists who tortured me. 
Oh, like, like man. they're torturing him too, or he he tortured you? I don't know that that guy is. They usually have lookouts, and so he's probably getting other people because you guys were making a decent amount of noise. Oh, you heard us coming. I thought we were quiet. No, the explosion gave it away. Uh oh. I thought. I mean, it could be natural. Okay. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we should probably. Uh, hmm. so well, do we go? Either way, we have to go see whether we save or kill this man, right? Right. Yeah. No. Definitely. Definitely. So let's just uh, let's try to get the drop on him. I guess. I'm gonna send up my spider ahead of us and see if I can find him. Spider never see shit. Spider uh, will I, see shit. I'm going to. I'm gonna agree just so that I feel like I'm part of this decision too. <laughs> Is Jerry actually saying that? Yeah. A excellent. I love Jerry. I All right, so the spider's going to actually stealth, because last time he... Did it, didn't you? <laughs> I rolled the that one. Oh, good job. Sorry. Hey, uh, Brian, you obviously know this, but I don't know if Kairos would do this. You could just step on his spider. I could. <laughs> <laughs> I'm respectful. Just, I'm just uh, throwing that out there. If if it yeah. frustrates oh, you, uh, if uh, if I have speak with animals, can I talk to a spider? Yeah, I mean, can you talk directly to me? Because I can hear, like, I can hear through it. He wants to talk to your I have, spider. I have, like, I have beast sense, and so your spider is not is not just like a manifestation of a spider that you. <laughs> Uh, it's an actual Feywild creature, so it, it it has. We could role play a familiar relationship, a wizard familiar relationship, just to be clear. And but it would just be get tedious for most situations unless you have a special relationship with your familiar, as in a warlock with uh, Pact of the Chain, which makes their familiar more powerful, do more stuff. Uh, then that would probably be worth it. But yes, your your familiar is just a, a a magic creature, so it does have some autonomy. Got it. Because if it goes beyond your telepathy, it has to act on its own accord anyway. It, you may give it directions, go this way, but it has to make general decisions. Uh. Yeah, so are you guys going to catch up or wait for the spider? <clears throat> I'm going to give the spider another chance. Though I'll I'm, give it a sec. Though I'm scoffing in disbelief <laughs> that it's going to see anything for us. So the spider um, crawls through Jarvis, um, and it follows the path that you can see clearly on the map I, I uh, sent. And there's three doors, two of which are open. D24 and D25 are open currently. Uh, and you don't see anyone. Uh, the doors are just <coughs> open. Um, I'm going to crawl down into D24 then. And I'm going to kind of be on a wall. Uh-huh. Okay. Like, I'm going to hug the inner side of that wall. I really didn't need to roll. Uh, your spider gets oh, smashed uh, against the wall. It rolled a one on stealth. I know. So oh, it's I, know. Like, I, was, I was completely expecting this. I, I'm trying to think of, an, of a narrative way how a spider could roll, how you could represent a, a natural one with a spider. <laughs> I figured it's just obvious and not, like... Whatever it's doing, it's being very obvious. Or yeah, I mean, Dancing I can only down the hallway on two legs. I, yeah, I can only think of like a cartoony. He <laughs> puts on a top hat and tap dance shoes on each of its legs, and is like roller skates. Yeah, roller skates, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking it's like hopping around on the way, and yeah, yeah, uh, doing things spiders shouldn't do. Exactly. So uh, there goes that. But you didn't see anything in the rooms. Um, you do, you do still hear whispering coming from that direction now that the spider's gone. Um, yeah, so I was in this room and I just 
couldn't see anything anymore and i oh wow i Shocker. can't i can't control my spider anymore yeah that's uh mind-blowing uh so. that, that it didn't see anything all right well i guess that means uh form up guys Here, here's a thought do we st try to like be stinky here you know I mean, Not our normal clanging down the hallway. Hey, everybody, explosions. Like Vendetta speaks up and goes, they already know you're here. I mean, they know we're here-ish, right? They don't the know more you delay, the more traps they can set up. Yeah, so just go quietly is all I'm saying. All right, well, I'll, I'll, try, I'll try anything once. So you guys are stealthing in what order? I'm middle of the pack somewhere. I'm second right. to last. You're not going to lead us. Jerry, you want to take lead this time? Uh, let me see if I have... I have... Okay. Oh, I have like, okay stealth, yeah. These dice are now jailed. Next D20. So Jerry, <laughs> and then... So Jerry, Rollercoast, Jarvis, me. And then Vendetta. I'm actually going to put Vendetta in front of me. She's going to... Seriously, you're going to... You no, I'm not. Were, you said they were laying traps, like you, uh, your funeral, and I just let her. I let her walk behind me. That's what I've she just does. been tortured. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to insulate you, kind of keep you protected. But no, if you want to hang on the back, that's fine. It's fine. <laughs> she just kind of stares holes through your back, uh, through <laughs> through your armor. Uh, so you guys head down. What'd you roll on stealth? Four. Six. Seven. Wow. At disadvantage, I got a 12. All right. So you got the best stealth. Uh... On disadvantage. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Clunk, my clunk, plus zero clunk, clunk. disadvantage. So I'll try Vendetta, a horrible role. She's making as much. You guys think probably think it's fine other than Kairos. Uh, Kairos, for once, you're kind of like. You guys suck at this. <laughs> Pretty much. What? <laughs> Why don't you go ahead? I'm the sneakiest one of this whole group. Oh yeah. Why don't you go ahead? <laughs> Keep in mind you're in a five foot by five foot yeah, no, I can't get hallway. You. So you guys have already moved. Basically, I'm assuming you already moved. Mm -hmm. That's so. Oh, yeah. the noise. If yeah. you stop yep. now, there's going to be clanging. Yep. This Never is mind. this is like a uh... good time. Yeah. Uh, what's the British? 70s comedy comedy show Faulty Towers What? Faulty Towers <laughs> I think that's it um, eh, Maybe not uh, Anyways, so you guys head down there And you have one closed door on the left And uh, two open down uh... Are you being served? Right right there in front of us That's where my spider was when I, when I lost control of it Directly ahead Shh Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hear from the back of the group. <laughs> Guys, in there. Um, everyone give me a perception check. There's the bad one. Okay, these dice don't do any better. That <laughs> <laughs> one. I got a 16. Oh, I got an God, eight. One of us saw something. I got a two. So the only person who got above a 14 was Jerry? Yeah. That's why he's in front. Okay. Good thing he's in front. Out of the two rooms uh, come a couple of arrows. This is going to be a surprise round, and then we're going to start initiative. Who are they coming to? Not the guys in the back. That's accurate. This is not a good start for my Avernus dice. Uh, that's a 1 and a 13 at Jerry. Um, I'm trying to figure it out because I think I have something against surprise. Because I've got... Uh, danger sense. Danger sense. Danger sense. Yeah. So what does it give you? I'm trying to. All I remember that. is the um, name of it. <laughs> if you go to class features on your character sheet. 
Yeah, I'm just going to the builder because I know it, it was right there when when I got to, to level three. Um, boop, 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 boop. Yeah, danger sense. Oh, at second level, you gain an uncanny sense of when things nearby aren't as they should be, giving you an edge when you dodge away from danger. You have advantage on dexterity saving throws against effects that you can see, such as traps and spells. To gain this benefit, you can't be blind and deafened or incapacitated. Yeah, so it's still the same because this is an attack roll. Uh, did a 13 hit? Yes. Okay. It's going to be eight piercing damage as one of them strikes you in the shoulder. Uh, and everybody roll initiative now. Oops. There we go. Now the dice are speaking to yeah, me. Yeah, that's a lot better. Twenty-five to twenty. Um, twenty. Twenty. I'm on twenty as well. So relico. Higher dex relicos. Twenty to fifteen. Fifteen ten. Eleven. Uh, thirteen. Okay, relicos, you're up first. Uh. Seeing the arrow being a ranger, it's pretty easy for you to track it. And there are three people in the middle room that you can see right now, two of which shot the arrows. Well, then I will be making an attack at whichever one is in front. Okay. With the bow, uh, I'm going to be using my dread ambusher so I get the second attack as well. Uh, first attack is 16. Second attack is also a 16. Um, no, that does not hit. Okay. Then, uh, am I in the hallway right now? Yeah, you're in the hallway, and you can barely see in there. You guys are going to have to move in. Hey, Dave, can you move your mic uh, up or down? Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, so it's pr pretty close quarters. You're moving into D25, correct? Or you guys can split up and move into D24 as well. Uh, I'm going to... S I don't know if I can get around Jerry to get into that... Once you go into the door of D25, get into the corner right there. Which corner? Give me a direction. North corner. So, like, the crook in the two, hallway? Yeah, two blocks in to the door. Okay. Yeah, so you can do that, and you see three cultists in there with shields, and two of which are switching their weapon. Uh, yeah. And that'll be the end of my turn. Cool. So Jarvis, so you went to you went towards D twenty five. You said, yeah. Okay. He's in D twenty five. Who is behind me again? Me. Okay. So there's still not one person, two people in front of me, right? Yeah. Sort okay. of. Rollercoast is in the room. Jerry's in front of you. Kairos is behind you. And we also have uh, Vendetta, right? She's in the back. Oh, cool. I thought she was in the front. Right. You no, just good. looking at her, she is not going to be fighting. Yeah, cool. But... No. Yeah. No. I for some reason I thought I heard she was in the front, and I didn't. Really... <laughs> we just paraded her out in front. Uh. Yeah. We'll uh get you out of here. I know you've just been tortured, but you know we're adventurers and we know better. Why don't you go first? Yeah, I agree. Just she. I thought she was bait. Honestly. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna attempt to squeeze through and kind of go a little bit north to the north side to down the end of the hallway towards where D26 is, but not in the doorway, just at the end of the hallway. Okay, so you're only going to be able to attack things in D24. Yep. Okay, and are you going to just hold your turn, or what are yep. you going to do? Gonna, I mean, I'm going to hold my action for a uh, firebolt at the next person I see. Excellent. 
Okay, so Fist of Bane, who we're going to now call Fobs with numbers, go next. Makes sense. Uh, Fob 5 is in D24. And Fob 4 is in D24. Can't read my own handwriting. Uh, so Fob 5 is going to run out from behind an open sarcophagus that it was hiding in or around and uh, try to swing its mace at I guess it would be Jerry still because Jerry is behind Rollercoast now this guy's coming from D24 yeah up north yeah that'd be Jerry he'd run into first yep on my account okay That is a... Did he come out to where I could see him in the hallway? Yeah, you can activate your, your okay, stuff cool. now. He's going to have a little bit better cover because of Jerry, but... Got it. 21. Yes, it does. And that is three damage. Okay. So that's going to be... A 15 to hit you, the one that ran out, Dave, and it's 6 damage, bludgeoning damage. Yeah, Jerry's pretty pretty beat up. He's uh, He's got some blood dripping down from where that uh, that arrow got him. And he's got, got some bruising, some, some redness. Just got smashed with a mace as well. Yeah. Now it is Fob 2's turn, which is next to Rollercoast. It's going to mace you. 15 to hit. Yeah. 8 bludgeoning damage as this. I believe it's a skull shaped mace. Bane? Yeah. And. That is that fob's turn. Jerry, your turn. Well, Jerry's raging now. <laughs> it's a bonus action rage. Yeah. Um, I think I'll just attack the one that's... Attacked you? In, yeah, that's that, that he ran out to me in 24, right? He yeah, he's in he's in melee range. You don't even need to move. Yeah, so I'll just get, use my axe. Oh, let's see here. So that's a uh, 15. To hit? Yeah. No. Oh, damn it. <laughs> uh, Anything else? Nope. Okay. Kairos. Um, I'm going to run up behind Jerry. And as I run up, I place my hands against your back and silver light just streaks down my arms into you and you heal 9 HP as I lay on hands for you. Sweet. You and hear Whore's Holy Healing Symphony. Yeah. Um, it kind of burns. <laughs> it's like a searing, burning healing pain. Uh, but it's there and it does heal you. Um, and as I do it, I just say, bring out Whore's Vengeance upon them. And that's my turn. Oh, and I pull out my uh, maul. Okay. That's my turn. All right. It's Fob 4's turn. Fob 4 is in D24. Fob 4 is going to try and shoot past the blockage in the hallway at Jarvis. Not likely, because Jarvis is going to have a plus... Jarvis has his mage armor activated as well, um, but that only gives me two. You had already 
activated that though. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We activated. I'm just. Yeah, I was just mentioning that it was activated earlier when we came down here. Okay. Uh, 14's not gonna hit probably, because you got a bonus to AC. What's your AC? Uh, with the I'm 12 plus two for the mage armor. Okay. Yeah. So it puts you out of, out of uh, that roll, and that's Fob Four's turn as the arrow streaks by, and clanks behind you. Fob One is going to attempt to shoot at Rollercoast. It's a natural 20. That hits. <laughs> that hits. Uh, 10 piercing damage. Sick. That's already doubled, I hope. Yes, it is. Thank God. <laughs> Uh, how how are you looking? Is there blood? Terrible. Oh, I am god awful right now. Okay. Uh, that's Fob one. Fob three is seeing how you look. Is going to run out of D twenty five five and try to swing at Kairos, even though it's tight quarters. Bring it. Alright. That's a 16 to hit. Uh, without my shield, it is 16, so that hits. Okay. That is 8 bludgeoning damage. Okay. I'm, looking, I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the top of the round, Rollercoast. How many people do I see left in D25? There's two? Two. And one right in front of you, and then the one who just nailed you with an arrow right in the collarbone. Okay. Uh, okay, good. That is. We're a bonus action for healing pot for ourselves? Yes, correct. Okay, I'm gonna use my one minor healing pot. That's one d4 plus what two? I think it's two d4 plus, plus two. Yeah, two d4, two d4 plus, plus, two. plus two. The pluses and the d's always add up or always match. Wow, I rolled two freaking ones. So I heal for four. Well, that's good. It's better than nothing. And then, uh, use my last spell slot to cure wounds myself. That's a D8. Plus my wisdom, correct? Yes. Well, that's better. That's an 8. Nice. So nine more healing. Any movement? Uh, there's still one guy on me. Yeah, currently. And the only other place I could really go is more into the room with the other fellow. Uh... Let me go to the southern corner of D25, and I'll take the attack of opportunity. Okay, so you'll be about equidistant from the guy you just left once you're there, and the guy who shot you with an arrow, which is will be a little over 5 feet, between 5 and 10 feet away. That's fine. I'm just trying to give room for my people to get in. Okay. Uh, he's going to take an attack. That's a 14 to hit. Just hits. That's going to be four bludgeoning damage. Right. End of my turn. Jarvis? All right, Jarvis has... Does Jarvis have a clear path into D25? Not really, but you can spend some movement to get down there. I'm going to try to do that then. And then do I have a shot at the guy in D25 from where I can get? Uh, you spending 20 feet of movement to move 10 feet to get past the log jam. Yeah, you can get have a shot if you're at the door, the open door of D25. You'll, you'll be about a little over 5 feet away, which I believe does not impose disadvantage. Uh, so yes, you can hit that guy. Okay. I'm going to throw. All right, 
I don't know if this is going to work. Would I know if a spell like sleep would work on on these fists of bane, like something like not a normal person? You, I mean, you know that elves and certain humanoids have resistance or invulnerability to that spell. When you've killed these cultists, they're they're not all humans. They there are some half elves and half orcs and so yeah, there's a chance. Okay. Um all right, for now I'm just gonna cast a fireball and hold on to that then. Nineteen? Yes. Ten. Cool. Finally I roll my D ten well. Anything else? I think that's nope. okay. A mat max movement, pretty much. So he's gonna run up to you and try to mace you. Okay. You can get to Jarvis through Jerry and I. We're this next guy is Fob Five. Oh yeah, you're right. Actually, um, yeah. So I put the damage on the wrong guy. That's Fob Two, Fob One. I just thought Jarvis was pretty well insulated. No, he ran. He's at the door to D25 now. I missed that. I apologize. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I'm away from the guys that were by D24. Correct. Yeah. Uh, so that guy's going to run up and smack you, and that was a 22 to hit. Oh, yeah. That's five bludgeoning damage. Okay. That's his turn. Guy. Um, he's gonna take a shot at Jerry. Fifteen to hit. Yep. You're adding any bonuses you get with your rage, right? I don't get any armor okay. class bonuses for rage. Cool. Just check in. Two piercing damage. I am not having anything. <laughs> All right. Got it. Here he goes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bob four. Here's the guy next to you, Car or um next to Jerry, I think. Yeah. These hash marks on the outside of this map are not helping me see what I wrote, so. That's a nat one. It's not going to hit you, Jerry. Sweet. Does he stab himself? <laughs> um, let's, let's see. Nope. Uh, cool. So, fob three at the bottom of the round. The guy who's going after Kairos uh, is going to swing. That is a 16 to hit. Yep. Six bludgeoning damage. Back to the top of the round, Rollercoast. Did you, did you guys skip me? Did I? Me. Did I? Yeah, I never. Me too. Oh, shit. Uh, sorry, uh, Jerry. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter for Jerry because he rolled a pretty shitty uh, great X. So he, I was gonna just try to attack the same one that's in yeah. the, the big hallway, and yep. uh, he he whiffs. The guy who got a natural one. Uh, yeah. yeah, Kairos. <laughs> um, I'm also gonna hit the guy who uh, tried to hit me, Kay. or who did hit me. Okay. That's gonna do it. I have to... Yeah, no, that's garbage. That's a twelve. All right. Uh, got that. Got that. Rulicos. Uh, shoot. There's one in the hallway or in like the doorway ish of. Ish, yeah. Point. That moved f out further out of where you were fighting it towards Jarvis. And but then you there's. Take a step to the right to see him. 
you will be within melee range to do that. Uh, but you can, yeah, you can still see it. See the guy. I'll yeah, say. I'll go into that dude's melee range. Fuck him. Okay. 17 to hit? Not quite. 18's the AC. Okay. Uh, that's the end of my turn. All right. Jarvis? All right, so one guy next to me and then another one in the corner of D25, correct? Correct. Next to Roller okay. Coast now. I'm going to throw uh, three rays of fire. Nice. I'm going to start hurling them at the guy next to, uh, you said it was next to Roller Coast? Yep. And it's 2d6. Per. Yeah, and you have to roll an attack for each ray, I believe. Do I? Yep. Uh, yes. Because you oh, can split them off. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Uh, so, plus five. Cool. 21? Yes. Second one is... 23? Yes. Third one is 13. No. So the two that hit are going at the one next to Rollercoast? Yep. Cool. 18. Yep. And this one goes down. In a blaze of fire as these... Ray streak out next to you, Rollercoast, and uh, singe a bit of your fur, but nothing too bad. So there's one down, guys. We did it. <laughs> Everything's going to be okay. And I didn't help. <laughs> All right. Um, and I still have one on me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Within yeah. melee range? Okay. Yeah. Then... Uh... I hold my ground. Okay, this guy's going to fob five. Is going to um. Is going. He's kind of stuck. Yeah, so he'll take a arrow shot at Jerry. Natural two doesn't work. Fob 2 is the one next to Jarvis. It's a, that's gonna do. <laughs> a 9 to hit. Won't do it. Nope. And now we're to Jerry. Sweet. Swing takes away. Another, takes another swing. Uh -huh. uh, 11. Nope. 18 is your number. They have shields. Wow, I'm never going to get one of those. <laughs> You'll get it. Uh, Kairos. Um, so Kairos' eyes, they flash bright orange, not the silver and black that you've seen up to this point, as like his arms are just wreathed in flame, and it courses down uh, onto the maul as he activates Searing Smite with a bonus action. Cool. Um, which I have through my tieflingness. Awesome. Well, I don't hit him anyway. It's a 15. But Searing Smite is still active until I hit something or the spell ends. Um, so that just stays on the mall, but I miss completely. Okay. Uh, fob 4, guy next to you, Jerry. 16 to hit. Yep. That is 7 bludgeoning damage, not halved. Got it. That guy's dead. One next to you, Kairos. It's a natural two. These dice suck. That won't work. Back to the top of the round, Rollercoast. Uh, shoot my shot at the one that's next to Kairos. Or, no, sorry, next to Jarvis. Still. Yep. In that hallway. That is a natural 19, so 26 to yep, hit. Yep, yep, yep. Nine damage. Okay. And that will be the end of my turn. Jarvis. Um, so not sure. Can I do does fire bolt um only work as a ranged attack or can I do it at close encounters? It'll be disadvantage. Okay. Then I will um take it at disadvantage. Uh 
matter. They're both crap. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Okay, Fob 5 going to take another arrow shot because he can't get by it, Jerry. That's a 16, and that'll hit. And that's a uh, 4 piercing damage. That's not halved. And now Jarvis's guy is going to take us may smash us to three this is okay and that's jerry's turn jerry just goes over to the guy and tries to yank the shield away from the guy okay uh it's going to be a contested athletics check so make your roll are you you're raging right yeah, yeah, I get advantage, prob- yeah. I get advantage yeah, on is. strength checks, but not. I don't know if. I guess. Oh, it is athletics. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. So it's. Uh, I want. To, so that's a 20. That's my third natural one. So that <laughs> works. So he tries to. You grab it and just yank. And. He Give me that shield! He wasn't really even thinking you would do that. So it just pretty much slips off his arm and you yank so hard and there was such low resistance that resistance that you throw it, you can throw it over your head, but basically you rip it so hard that your arms go back like that. Um, I don't know what you want to do. If you want to let go, it'll probably continue its momentum behind you. Can I just throw it at him? On your turn. Okay. Let's hold on to it. I've got two shields now because I was still dragging that other shield. That one's on your back, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, All right, Kairos. Um, Can I reach the one that Jerry just uh, yanked the shield from? It'll be tough because you're reaching around. No, not really. I mean... Okay, then I'll just continue to try and mash the one that that I've been trying to mash. Nope. Carry on. (laughs) Carry on. All right. Uh, the The guy now shieldless next to you jerry is going to try to mace you with great fury and it's a three this is impressive i think i've this is like five rolls under five it's good because you started off just hitting us <clears throat> yeah you crit a, me already. you're gonna get a good tip bullshit i'm just gonna smash you another three these dice are stupid which dice are you using again the Vernus the ones dice. That came with it? The ones that I critted on you guys a bunch that first session. You oh, used balance. all of its magic up. Maybe it I did. no longer has any more. I wish things worked that way. That's how they get you to buy another set. <laughs> that would 20 be, good rolls and that's it. That would be an amazing, if that could actually work that way, that would be an amazing uh, unethical, dice, unethical business practice, but amazing. Dice need to take a long rest. Mm-hmm, apparently. Rollercoast. Uh, that dude's still alive, so I'm just going to shoot at him again. Okay. That's a nat one. Nope. I'm not going to shoot at him. Okay, Jarvis. I'm going to take an action and disengage. Okay. I'm going to move to the opposite corner of the room. In with r- coast? Correct. Okay. Got it. And uh, that was my action, so I'm done. Okay. Bob five... is going to hmm. they'll just run in now and chase you yeah it's a natural 20 on you Jarvis with the mace I'm going to cast oh it's a natural 20 it hits yeah I can't even shield that that is 10 bludgeoning. I'm hurt. I'm bleeding. I would expect that would be Nothing the more. case. You natted on a wizard. Yeah, happens. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, what is that guy? He's just going to take a shot at old Jerry because he can't get by that log jam or doesn't want to try that's a seven it's getting better it's getting better <laughs> jerry it's your turn 
Jerry's gonna take the take the shield and just like try to bash the guy over the head with it. Okay. So improvised I... weapon. That is a What'd you roll Should on the I die? Do a strength? Do I do a strength check for that? What'd you roll on the die to hit? Well, I'm asking, do I have advantage on that? Cause it's... No. Okay. Um I rolled on the die, I rolled a nine. Okay, yeah. So that won't hit. Um, it's when you use a weapon or an improvised weapon, uh, you don't get any. Oh, okay. It's always. Well, I tried. I mean, the shield. I let probably, go. I it just like falls to the ground. Then I like the color of what you wanted to do, so I should probably allow it. But I'll take the that. Rules. The rules are not forgiving for improvised weapons. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tavern but... brawler is a rough, a rough player. Well, when you take three <laughs> swings with your, when you take three swings with your great axe and do zero damage, you're just like, well, like what else can I do? Sitting right next to you with my big ass <laughs> maul doing the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Kairos, you're next. I'm gonna try to hit something with my big ass maul. Have at it. Fiery Maul, finally. That's a twenty-three, so Indeed. it's gonna hit. Um, so that is a uh, ten points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And seven points of fire damage. You smash it down on him. He goes down. Does he catch on fire? What happens? He does catch on fire. Pretty. So he's ignited. So he, but he's dead, right? Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. He would have continued to take damage until he put it out, but he's dead and on fire. Indeed. Well, that was satisfying. Well worth it. Now that that finally happened. Roller coaster. <laughs> Three. Um, I'm also gonna. Can I squeeze by and get in the room with Jarvis and Roller coaster? You're gonna take an opportunity attack from the guy next to Jerry. Uh. No, I'll stay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's a 13 to hit, which I know doesn't end of my turn. <laughs> Jarvis. All right, I'm going to... Oh, he's on top of me again, isn't he? Yep. Gosh. Okay, I'm going to bonus action. I'm going to bonus action health potion. Nine points of healing. And I am going to... Go, 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 go. Yeah. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to who's in the doorway right now? Well it's this just, room. It's just uh you can kinda see Jerry fighting another guy. Okay, but he the other guy's in the doorway pretty much. Uh um, like if I went out the doorway I would walk by him, right? No, that guy ran in with you. There's another guy in below Jerry and the guy he's fighting. So kind of in the hallway of, basically in the hallway of out of D24. And okay. he's been trying to arrow Jerry, and missing with repeated All right. threes. All right, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take my action again to disengage. Okay. And I'm gonna start jetting towards that hallway again. All right, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So you come up to the spot, which is at the crossroads of these two hallways where Jerry is fighting and Kairos is, there's a smoldering body kind of the side and uh, yeah, you're not sure well, if you'd take a attack of opportunity from the guy fighting Jerry. He, okay. is, he is rather distracted, but you never know. But I'm out of my max movement, right? You you could um get within you could get out of his range and basically at right below the door into twenty four and that would put you within like between five and ten feet away from the guy who was taking pot shots at uh Jerry. And he would be south of me? Or no, yes. he'd be north of me. Or yeah, he'd be south of me. Okay. Yes. Um I'm gonna stay where I'm <sighs> I'm going to stay where I'm at for now. Okay. Uh, okay. Bob five. Okay. 
A arrow is going to be loosed on Jer. A nine. It's getting better, guys. Ooh. The one kind of zings by my my head. I'm like, oh, someone's trying to shoot arrows at me. That's happened like four <laughs> times. <laughs> that uh, was close enough for me to see. Fob two uh, is going to head on over to Rollercoast. That's a 14 to hit Rollercoast. That hits. Damn. It just hits, but it hits. That's a four bludgeoning damage. Sick. And... I'm just going to throw it out there. I am not purring. In the <laughs> <laughs> Are you going... It's just like angry cat hisses. Oh, okay. Uh, Jerry. Jerry's going to go back to the... The Great Axe, another, what is that? It's a 14. Nope. He does have less AC, but that's not quite enough. Sorry, Jerry buddy. Jerry whiffs again with that, the Great Axe. It's kind of a good axe today. I feel ya. <laughs> All right, Kairos. Uh, can I get into Rollercoaster's room? Uh, you can After squeeze by horrible cat noise that just came out of there. You can squeeze by uh, Jarvis and run in. Sure, that'll be. Yeah, you can get in. I'm gonna do that. Mm -hmm. Um, so like, um, roller coaster. You see me running with like my maul over my head, ready to bash something. Uh, but seeing you, can I reach him? Yeah, you'll be within melee range of this thing, though. That's fine. <laughs> I'm always in melee, melee range of something. Um, so I run up to Rollercoast and I go, you two! And I just <laughs> roughly jam my fist against your chest. Um, but this time it's going to be Cure Wounds. Okay. Uh, with my last slot. Uh, so that gives you four points of healing. Thank with you, my whopping one. At least something. Um, and that is what I do. And then I just turn menacingly to the guy that I'm standing next to now. And Excellent. My mall. <laughs> Jerry, the guy next to you swings with his skull-headed maul for a 12. Does a 12 hit, Jerry? Oh. Just whiffing on each other. It's My rolls are going up slowly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But uh, one number at a time. Yeah, pretty much. It's like <laughs> one or two. Roller... I had to kill him before before he gets a hit. Yep, Rollercoast. Can I bonus action like drop my bow and bring out my sword? You can do that as a free drop. Oh, free yeah. Action? Fantastic. Then I will do that. Bust out the swords. Two attacks on the guys on me. Okay. On the guy on me. First one is a twenty-two to hit. Yep. Second one is another 22. Cool. Oh my gosh. I hit something. Twice even. Seven plus four. It's 11 damage between the two attacks. Yes, you... you Stab, I assume, or slice? Slice. You slice into this gentleman, slicing off a hand and part of his face, and he goes down without much of a peep. What do your swords look like? Are they just normal? They're short... just standard okay. short swords. Cool. Standard issue. All right, Jarvis. All right, so I'm going to go into that room. Um, he still looks distracted by... Um, yep, still in the same... By Jerry? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go into that room, um, try to squeeze past them, go there, and how many... From where I'm at right now, how many... We have... Three left, right? No, two left. Two. Two left. And can I see both of them? Yes. Okay. There you're you're the sandwich in this. But I'm not directly next to anyone. No. Okay. So you see as I throw um, two rays at one and then one ray at the other. So I'm gonna roll the single ray first. Okay. Roll the two. Um, I'll roll the next two rays for the other two that are going at the other target. Okay, a two and a four. 
It would have been cool. Yeah. <laughs> would have been. Would have. Cool. Would have if I didn't roll two twos and a four. All right. So the guy. Rollercoaster and I didn't see you do that. So yeah, that's got true. That going for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So the guy in D24 is going to close the distance and swing his mace. 14 hit. Who are you talking to? Jarvis. Oh. Uh, yes, but I cast shield. Okay. <laughs> Clangs off the arcane Shun. barrier. And now we're to Jerry. Come on, baby. <laughs> yes, 22. Yeah. Oh, my God. I get What's this other? It's a die with 12 sides that I get to roll. Those are fun to roll when that. Ooh, and I got a 12. Damn. That's, so that's, uh, that's 18 total damage. With one swing. <laughs> how do you want to kill this guy? <laughs> Is this the one that's on me or the one not on me? Not the classic, on you. Oh, okay. The classic, like, his head goes into his torso. <laughs> axe on top. Wait, so you're smashing the blunt, a guy the with blunt, the... The blunt side. <laughs> that's becoming, like, a theme. Blunt side, <laughs> like axe it. on the top of the head. I hope, I hope it's, like, because Jerry just doesn't know how to sharpen his great axe. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just got yeah, he's, good. Yeah, his uncle sharpens it for him sometimes, but... Yeah. yeah, so when you see it's dull, you have to... I guess I'll smash him with the flat end. All right. Anything else, Jerry? Wow, oh, that was so satisfying. <laughs> Kairos? Um, so I run... No one else is in our room, right? Everyone yep. else is left. So I run out... Um, do I see the last guy? Yep. Can I get to the last guy? Um... Yeah, you can. Sweet. You no more movement. That's fine. I also don't hit him. Uh, that's a ten. So there you go. <laughs> I feel like we're all uh, bonding over room. over shitty rolls tonight. Tonight. Yeah, it's right. really. I feel that way. I don't feel like I'm the only one who's not doing anything. <laughs> no, no, it's definitely not just you. <laughs> <laughs> if I had rolled like average, this could have gone real bad. <laughs> This could have been when Rollercoast was in a room by himself. Yeah, that, that could have been bad. Uh, Rollercoast. Um, I want to do whatever actions I have to take to put the swords away and pick up the bow because there's no one next to me anymore. Okay. And yeah, then... so drop your swords, pick up the bow, free action, run. Well, I don't want to drop them. I want to put them back in my sheets. Okay. I don't want to check on the action economy on that so sure okay. another free action and then go to wherever i have to go to get line of sight on this dude if possible mm, yeah he will have some ac bonus but yeah you can take a bow right. shot am i fat ass in the way mod 20 yeah just hits <laughs> Oh, right by your ear, Kairos. That'll be eight damage. All right. Anything else? That'll be it. Jarvis? So this guy is still on me, so yep. I'm going to take my quarter staff and I'm just going to whack him in the head. Okay. One-handed or two? Two. Okay. Beep, beep. 17. Uh, no, that does not hit. Okay. Um, that ends my turn. All right, he's going to swing back at you. Of course he is. <laughs> so three guys on the die. <laughs> Sick. I love that it reweighted itself. Really nice of that die. It's kind of fits with the theme of the campaign being devils and like fickle. Yeah, and Purgatory. maybe it's a cursed die that does change its weight like that just to fuck with people. <laughs> uh, all right, Jerry. No one's in front of you. Yeah, just a corpse. Um, yeah, so he, 
all the action's happening in 25 now? 24. 24, so I, I run in there. It's, are there any guys that still still hold a shield? Yes. So I do the same thing with that guy. I try to rip that <laughs> shield. I'm really pissed off at shields. <laughs> so I will roll. Oh, damn it. Uh, let's see. It's not going to be good, but maybe Ooh, contested. I'll advantage. get lucky. Oh, that's right. It's a strength check. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so I got a, I got a ten. Yeah. So he rolled a seven plus uh, three, so it's a ten as well. So yeah, you can go ahead and pull it from his grasp a little harder this time. But now you have a shield. Nice. Nice. That's it. And dice. Okay, Kairos. Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> Thanks, Jer. <laughs> And uh, thanks, Jer. And then I, uh, I, I bash his face in mm -hmm. with a with a twenty four. Yep, indeed. Uh, uh, and that gives my me a, action a eight unnecessary. <laughs> it gave me the confidence to roll well. Is what it did. How much <laughs> like, um, gave you more vision of him? So right. Maybe, uh, eight, eight, eight bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, front of his face. It's pretty well smashed in. He he can still see out of one eye, and he's not liking his life mm, currently. He could still have a nice retirement. And I make sure to make it a good like <laughs> squelch as I pull the well the ma the mall back for another swing next turn. Uh, <laughs> Roller coast. Take another yep, bow. another shot. <clears throat> Twenty. Yes. What is math three? You kill it. Describe your killing blow. Uh, I have to, like, kind of lean to the side to shoot around whoever it is that's in my way. And probably just... I don't know what part of this man I can see. I'll catch him in the neck if that's possible. Definitely. No shield now, so things are easier. Things, things are looking good. He goes down, clutching his neck. And now there's nothing left in this area. Oh, and I just turn, breathe out, oh. I'll take a sigh, and I just, like, not really thinking of where it's going, I, like, drop my maul on the ground right on the dude that Rocco's <laughs> just shot and smashed the other half of his face. Cool. Dave's, or, uh, Jerry's just taking both shields that he has, and he's just, like, comparing them to see which one he wants to keep. Well, they're both similar. They they're have scuffs and dents in different ways, so... Okay. It's a it's a crapshoot. Oh, this one's got a cool scuff, so I'm gonna keep this one. <laughs> we'll just make sure you keep one with a with a skull on it. That's our proof that we killed some followers of Bane down here. One of our things, I guess. Yeah, this one's got a skull. I guess on we have it. a I guess nice. we have a person with us now that, that might be able to vouch for us. Mm -hmm. We also and saved that dude. Yeah, uh, no, we're doing all right on the proof. Take whichever shield you want. <laughs> I, I think that's our our weakest bit of evidence now. <laughs> <laughs> Take the cool scuff. It's a good scuff. Um, I start patting things down. Yeah. On Doing all thing. five, consistent with how I've been rolling, I rolled a bunch of ones. So it's a total of 11 copper. Sick. You guys want to divvy that up? Either. Um, I pick up the eleven <laughs> copper and I, I, or like I collect the eleven copper if I can do that. Um, and yeah. I look to all you guys and I just go, uh, guys, these are pennies. Um, and I just I <laughs> hand them to Vendetta Cress and just be like, you, you uh, probably deserve this more. <laughs> oh. And I and I give her the eleven copper. Thank, like, thank you. Oh, horror works that way. You, got you got kind of screwed a little bit with what the torture and all um right but look you get some money so that's neat all right um, thank jerry you just says they real they tired guys <laughs> jerry just tries to like lean over to to uh to rylos where was it uh roller coaster? really no not roller coaster, uh kairos yeah kairos sorry and he just goes i think they pre prefer the term sex worker <laughs> And somehow a tiefling blushes <laughs> as I just react like mm. She smirks at that comment. <laughs> like she's so 
beaten down, and that's like the stupidest, funniest thing she's heard in a while. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, guys, I'm, I'm really <laughs> Kairos really gets tired. gets awkward as fuck. <laughs> um, I'm really tired. We might can we hole up in this room in one of these rooms, maybe board up with a sarcophagus lid or something, and just take a quick breather. I don't need very yeah, long. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. Right before I do that, I know I shot at least six arrows. Can yeah. I recover any of them? Uh, let's see. Roll a d12. Three. Okay, so you can get half of them. Okay, so I get three arrows back. Sick. Jerry, help me out with this, and uh, I hope which room? Jerry helps me. Uh, anybody like one in particular? I think D twenty four is the better one. Just first things happened in twenty five. You haven't checked D twenty six. Keep in mind. Correct. Yeah, I want to take a breather before we do any more exploring. Correct. <laughs> All right, so now that you guys are in D24, um, four flickering torches in wall sconces illuminate this crypt, the middle of which is occupied by an open stone sarcophagus. The sarcophagus bears no carvings or other ornamentation, but it is full of humanoid skulls and bones. Surprising. Six dusty bedrolls lie on the floor around it. Oh, it's a camp just made for us. How wonderful. Um, so I get Jerry's help to, to take the sarcophagus lid and fashion like a more secure blockage at the doorway once everybody's inside. With what are you doing this? The sarcophagus You're lid. just lifting it or are you, you, you made the I'm motion hopefully... of hammering? No, lifting. Oh, okay. Sorry, you couldn't see my hands. Small camera. Okay. Um, with Jerry's help is, is what I'm hoping for. If Should we check send. to make sure there's no traps in this lid before you put it there? Uh, the lid is already off the sarcophagus. Oh, was it? Oh, my bad. Yeah, because it's filled with human bones. Oh, yeah. Already know it's in you're it. right, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> my bad. You should check that sarcophagus for books. Just saying. I am going to look in the sarcophagus because uh, I don't, you know, I found nice things in other ones. So. Make an investigation check. Are you trying to be quiet about this? Looking in the sarcophagus? Yeah, with like moving around the skulls and Yeah, stuff. I'm not trying to be like loud or anything like because when I know there's people in the other room, yes. I'm trying to be quiet. So you're like grabbing them one by one and moving them. Okay. Yeah. What'd you get? I know I don't want to make noise. Um investigation was twenty three. Yeah, you're confident you there's no books in here. Nothing at all, just the bones. Just the bones. Cool. You did find three fucking spell books, dude. I know. I know. <laughs> Greedy wizard. You never know what's in them, though. There might be more. Cool. <laughs> there might be something else. There could be a curse. There could be. <laughs> you found a curse. <laughs> I thought about using my mage hand to check, but then I was like, eh, this is faster. It's like when you find a curse, it's the opposite of the Link finding a, a chest. Da 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 da. <laughs> Yeah, and that's how you know it's cursed. Uh huh. Um, all right, so we're settling down for a short rest. I is what I was getting at. You yeah. didn't ask Jerry if he'd help you. I didn't. Well, I was trying to elicit yeah. a response from Jerry, but I just assumed we were just frozen. like going through it pretty fast, so I didn't role play that. All good. Do you help me though? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but do yeah. you though? I don't know. Jerry Jerry surprises me so. <laughs> Maybe he Maybe rages if you don't ask him. Do. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys barricade the door, make a survival check. Oh, bummer. Okay. Oof. 14. What'd you get, Dave? Uh, figuring out a uh, six. Okay. Good to know. And uh, yeah, you spend an hour taking a short rest. Woo! Spend those hit die. Let me make a roll or two. I was so goddamn sure with my shitty rolls something would happen. And then I just rolled super well for you guys. But Neat. Short rest. Healing miraculously in one hour. 
You using arcane recovery, Jarvis? I did. Okay. I was just about to say that. Um, you... I used two hit die. Okay. You get half. Yeah. On a yep. long rest. Uh, I'm doing two hit die also. That puts me back to full. So Maybe I could either take two. one level two or I can take two level ones, right? Okay. So explain this to me. If I if I use all th all three of my hit die, I just can't use them before another long rest. Correct, and then you only get half of them back oh, for wow. for the next long rest, and then the next long rest you'll get provided you don't use any cool. of the other half back. Mm -hmm. Where's all the right. hit? I forget. Where's the hit die on D and D Beyond? So the just go to short rest, rest button. button. Yeah. Thank do, you. Do, 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 do. <laughs> then it brings up a thing. Yeah. Cool. So I should not use. There's one that just says reset maximum HP changes. Well, if you do your rolls and then it goes up to max, then you can just hit that to make it easier. Otherwise, oh, okay, got it. Otherwise, you take the short rest. Make sure you click that so that any short rest abilities reset in the interface, um, and then just do the healing manually. Brian's really good with rules. Yes, I am. You, it, it's you're like Rain Man with rules sometimes. I, I, I have a brain for rules. I love it, because it makes my job easier. Because <laughs> I don't have that. <laughs> Got a 12. Nice. nice. Does that put you full? Uh, no, but it's pretty pretty good, though. I get 14 from that, so... Because I get plus 2. Yeah. So just under the table, what's everyone's hit points at now? I'm max. back up to 20. Max. Uh, my max is 29. I guess 26. That's... Jerry doesn't need full health because he has everything. True that. Do you get your rages back, Jerry, or is that long rest? Uh, that's what I was trying to figure out. I can. Now that it'll I've, it'll I, automatically yeah, it'll reset it automatically, it. but it doesn't it doesn't automatically exit out of that short rest window. But I'm going back to my no, it doesn't reset any of my rages. So because it it says under rage, it's like three per long rest. Hmm. So so I have one left that's that I haven't rest. used. Okay. I didn't use any last last week. If you guys have rested, what would you like to do? Oh, we gotta get this door out of the way again. Um, so that that last room is that where the uh, hazing noises were coming from? No, we you don't know where room? that was coming from because you were around two hallways. Yeah. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Gotcha. I, th I think we should check the room D twenty five first. Learn where. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm gonna just walk a backtrack a little bit, not a ton, just like down that hallway, 15, 20 feet, just to see if I hear anything. You're gonna backtrack to where? Uh, hit uh, me with a. Wrap up again. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get the reference for you. I'd love um, to send my spider. Oh wait. Indeed. So I I won't go farther than the junction by D23. Okay. So like I'll go down those stairs to that junction where you listen. where you don't see that S, where I don't see that S. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I'll probably stop on the stairs actually and give a listen. Okay. Make a perception check. The the stairs directly under twenty three before the end. Oh okay. Make a perception check. Fifteen. Where did that go that I saw that? All right, never mind. Um, I will do what I need to. But I'm, so like I'm listening back the way we came. I'm also giving a listen towards D26 if there's any noise that way. You don't hear anything from D26. You kind of hear um, muffled yelling. Gotcha. Um, not coming from 26, but coming from the opposite direction. Yeah. I go back to the group. We're being chased by ghosts. <laughs> Pretty sure ghosts are coming back. The way Excuse we came. me? Well, what makes you think that? Well, there were zombies in here. So. There were zombies in here, so A. Justified. Uh, secondly, it's, it's like muffled moaning and yelling uh, coming back from ghost noises. You know what ghosts sound like. It's fun to imagine when Rollercoast talks that sometimes he forgets to speak in common, so he kind of goes, Row! and then quickly catches himself <laughs> and goes, "I'm excuse me." <laughs> it's 
just a tick I have. Excuse, pardon me. I'm sorry. I sometimes forget. Okay. So. Uh, I'm just. I, I'm telling you, ghost. Um, closed door. Uh, that's probably next up. Uh, did you find anything, uh, Jarvis? Yeah, I I went into D25, and my investigation is well. Is the the sarcophagus is open, correct? And yeah. Then, yeah. I roll a fourteen. Okay. Same thing. Trying to be quiet. So you find an empty sarcophagus. You push the button, the bottom of the sarcophagus, similar to what you've seen in other sarcophagus sarcophagi uh and you don't find anything cool nothing in here i, I just want anymore. i just want 12 more spell books yeah <laughs> doesn't every wizard yeah i mean looking for the ones with the next level spells right <laughs> there's probably a limit to what these dorks dork yeah. cultists you know are probably capable. yeah I'm mainly looking just in case. Sure. Uh, okay, so what do you guys want to do? I'm going to go put my ear to D26. The door, it's closed, right? Yep, perception check. Oh, terrible. It's a two on the die. Yeah, you don't hear anything. Keep in mind, I can roll for you guys on some of these, too, if, you, if it makes it easier for you to role play. Uh, well, guys, I don't hear anything coming from in there, so somebody wants to go in there before me. I'll just gonna... step away from the door. Sure. I'm going to look for traps. Sure. Oh, yeah, okay. That's a good idea. I was like, Jerry, you got you got lead. Uh, you got point last time. Investigation check. Time. <laughs> 23. Okay, so you start feeling around this door. You're checking the point at which it meets the... I'm failing to remember the names of parts of doors for some reason, but the part that meets the door, you're touching around, and you don't jam. find... Jam, thank you. Jeez. No like, problem. Hello. <laughs> uh, I was thinking more of, like, the cat noises. It just got me. So, yeah, you don't find anything, you think. Cool. I'm going to... Um, I'm actually going to step away from the door, and I'm going to use my mage hand to quietly open the door handle. Open the door. Okay. Slowly. Um. Yeah, you open the door. It's it's really well greased. Doesn't make a lot of noise. Someone's been maintaining these doors. Inside, you find four flickering torches in wall sconces. Um. An open sarcophagus similar to the one you saw in D24 in the middle of the area, but this one is filled with blood to the rim. And uh, spill there's spillage. It's leaking off the sides a bit and um, pooling around its base. The lid lies half buried under rubble behind it. Make a perception check. Twelve. Yeah, you don't. You look around. That's all you see. I'm going to use my mage hand to kind of dig into the pool of blood and see if I can find anything and pull it out. Okay. Is your mage... You can choose whether it's spectral or if it's invisible, right? I don't it's remember. a spectral. Okay. So it goes in and you pulls out some blood... Maybe searches around in there. Comes out with nothing. Just blood. And then I curiously uh, use prestidigitation to the flickering lights. I knock all the lights out. They go out. Okay, and then I relight them. They go back on. Okay. Nothing here, um, guys. By now I've walked in because our wizard just walked into an empty to a room by himself okay uh which is hilarious i i <laughs> thought he stayed at the doorway yeah oh. i didn't go in i just kind of 
Gotcha, and you were doing this. Use the mage <laughs> hand to kind of see what's going on in this room. Um, I, I lean over your shoulder a little bit, and I go, huh, that's neat, watch this. And all the lights turn blue. And then I do it and turn them <laughs> green. And you, you guys hear, you guys, you guys, you guys hear from behind the sarcophagus, you hear, oh, please, you're clearly very powerful wizards. Please don't hurt me. Let me, <laughs> take me out of here, please. Don't. Uh, and going, I told the group there's nothing in here. I, I'm going to uh, immediately, uh, my eyes go black and I divine sense um, to see if there's a celestial or fiend or undead within 60 feet. There is not. Okay. I cast, um, I use message and I cast into this person's mind and I whisper, who are you? Just like freaking what? them out. Oh, can he's talking to me. Is this? Who are you? Who are? Are you a wizard talking to me? Magic? I'm the one asking the questions. I I'm in here. They put. They captured me. I'm the. And they were preparing me for ritual sacrifice. That's why I'm covered in blood. Well, that's a good reason to be covered in blood. We should stop being so weird with this guy. And I walk into the room. <laughs> And uh, actually walk towards the voice where it's coming from. Okay, so you see, <laughs> uh, you see an old woman, uh, and um, she's covered in blood, like it. She's so covered in blood and dried blood that you think that they were preparing her, probably in the actual blood filled sarcophagus and uh i'll leave you guys to infer what you will but it's logical to think that she started hiding as soon as the freaking combat started <laughs> and she says please don't hurt me i'm nebra I, I would just like to leave this place i'm a i just want to go back to my florist shop oh nebra you look like oh you look awful Harris. I know. Harry's just like, I don't know, guys. I don't know if we should trust her. Um, Whore told me this is, she's not undead. She's not a fiend. I, I think it's okay. She she looks pretty. I don't know. I've known a lot of Nebras and never met a good Nebra. But I've known a lot of florists, and they're usually decent. <laughs> so, I mean, we kind of got a 50-50. Do you know, do you know a, a woman named Vendetta? No. No, I, I they've usually don't. It was a shot in the dark. It's a big city. I was just maybe uh, come meet her, uh, and I and I help her up and we're, we're and I explain like we're taking her out of here too. She's uh, she was kind of in the same spot you were. She's fully naked and puts on like some rags, like a rag robe, and it's just like she's in rough shape. Uh, there are some decent uh, cultist robes just down the hallway. Uh, better, better spun cloth. Okay, yeah. thank you. But it'll be better than those rags here. Come on, and I start helping. She her looks down, sees the dead cultists, and she's she's like, "Oh, thank goodness! Have you killed more than just what I see here?" Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, oh. we're carving a path. Excellent. Real okay. quick, how many of these people have you seen down here? Cultists? Yeah. Oh, they cycle in and out on shifts, and, you know, they, some, I heard them talk, one of the, I assume people you killed talking about taking paid leave, uh, and not coming back for a while. Uh, so, I, I mean, it's a, it's a decent amount, but I can show you, there's, I've seen, like, a secret door I can show you if you'd like. Yeah. Well, we're at a dead end, so that sounds just about perfect. Okay, um... If you didn't know anything, I was going to go ask the ghosts. Ghosts? There's ghosts here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You haven't heard them? No, oh, we'll run into them at some point, I'm pretty sure. We haven't seen them yet, but I heard them. There's ghosts. Okay. And she leads you to the map near D23, where there's a secret door, where it's, there's an S on the map. 
An S? Indeed. <laughs> I didn't even see that before. Good role playing. I thought that stood for South. <laughs> yep, it does. <laughs> Precious summer child, you. Just keep telling yourself that. It'll make it easier. <laughs> okay. So you come to where she points out, and um, this secret door uh, is. Go, Nebra, that's a that's a wall. And she goes, no, it's not. Touch it, and it's a uh, similar to the pocket door made out of wood and other materials, but some really great artist in another life would be a great set designer, decorator, uh, made this, and um, it it's... You think it's probably a pocket door. I stand corrected. Hey, Jerry, you, uh, why don't you come up by me? We should probably be the first two through this if, if there's something on the other side. All right, I got your back. And I never go back with Vendetta. Show, okay, show thank favor. you. Uh, we'll keep both of you safe. That's a better plan. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, slide open the pocket door. So sliding it open, you hear more uh, arguing, but you also hear uh, the clanging of metal and such further down. And what you see in this area is a 10 foot wide flooded passage braced by regular interval intervals of wooden beams. Um, old torch stubs float on murky water, on the murky water. And then about, I'll just upload the map. How's that? Prove this message. Um, since I'm in front, I start making nonsense hand signals that hopefully someone figures out means let's go quietly. Stealth rolls. And I start trying to sneak if I see how I do. Uh -huh. I doubt I'll be the sneakiest twice in a row. No. I got a four. Four? <laughs> Sixteen. Jerry? Ten. Ten. Noted. So as you guys enter this area sneakily, the fighting noises of and combat gets louder um and doo -doo -doo. you bend around the corner following the 10 foot wide hallway and at the far end in d29 uh you see two people locked in combat kind of circling each other in that island in the middle of D29, this flooded room in the middle, there's it's like raised full of detritus and concrete and whatever. Um, and they're kind of circling each other like freaking uh, Star Trek, the old show, when the, that music that goes, and they're like circling each other in combat. And that's basically what you're seeing. But you Is see, it? yeah. Sorry, go ahead. So, uh, one of the people, uh, I was trying to avoid reading this uh, read aloud text, but I'm just going to do it now. Flock text. Yeah. Beyond the hall, a flooded chamber opens up with rough hewn steps climbing uh, south, north, and northeast. The floor buckles up above the waterline in the middle of the room, forming a small island. Corpses and doused torches float in the water around the island, atop which two men circle each other with weapons bared. One of, one of the men is a tall, unarmored brute with a great club and a scarred face. Just think of the hound. Except... Nice. Except yeah. uh, not long hair, shaved head. And towers above his opponent, but is gravely wounded. The smaller figure is also wounded, uh, 
muscular, bare-chested. He clutches a bloody dagger in one hand and a torch in the other and has no flesh covering his skull. Oh, like as a wound or intentionally? He has no flesh covering his skull and he... So he's a zombie. Sort of. Or skeleton. Like the whole skull we're saying. Got it. Skeletor, but just from the neck up. Yeah. Well, Got if it. you want to look like one of the dead three idols, there. you know that Ball's symbol is just like a skull. It's true. Um, yeah. And when you guys get closer, you're not very stealthy. Uh, the guy with no skin on his skull is going to disengage from the fight and run into the room to the north. And uh, the large man with the scarred face takes a knee and is looking pretty rough. You see, as you get closer, the corpses of other cults, cultists with smashed heads. He's got his maul. Uh, that was a maul, right? Yes, I think so. Great club. Uh, so it's, you think he smashed these guys' heads in before he started fighting this other guy? Um, I'm going to quickly glance back to my group and say, I think that's the guy we want, and uh, give quick chase, if I can, to the skull-headed guy. So you don't want to stop at the island? No, I'm leaving. I'm trusting somebody else. Will. I'll stop at the island. Okay. Um, I am by far the fastest person here if you want me to dash with you. Yeah. I was just in front. So that was my... And as you guys round that corner, um, well, what was? Well, we did through it to. Can I use my feline's grace to like use an action to dash also and get like ninety feet in six seconds and haul ass around to get to the skull guy? Yeah. As you're doing that, the large man in the middle says, "I think you should wait for more reinforcements. He's very tough." I ignore him and just okay. keep going. <laughs> All right. Uh, You've blown past me, so now I'm like, I'm like, oh shit, and I start like jogging more, just to, like <laughs> gap the distance between you and the rest of us. <laughs> so as you enter the northern room where he fled to, um, he too is very quick. Uh, you see. Burned torch stubs litter the floor of this hall, the western end of which is occupied by three foot, three six foot tall painted wooden statues. Each statue stands atop a two foot high block of red stone, making it look taller and foreboding. The center statue resembles a heavily armored man whose face is hidden behind the fearsome visor of his helmet. His painted red, he's painted red except for his right gauntlet, which is black. Clutched in his gauntlet is a blood-red spear pointed upwards. A statue to the north depicts a purple-garbed male noble wearing a harlequin mask and holding a dagger behind his back. The statue to the south portrays a black-robed skeleton with its jaw opened wide and its bony hands outstretched. Ooh. Those are terrifying statues. And then you see yeah. the guy who's fled <laughs> standing in front of... Um, the statues and the, where they are in the western section of this northern room. I'm going to keep a good, like, 50 feet from them. Uh, you can keep... Or however many feet is reasonable. 30 at most. 30? At very most. Way, with my bow drawn at them. Okay. Because I use my action to dash, so I can't hit them now. What do you do? Well, are we in combat? Well, you can either tell me what you're going to do or... I wait. would like to shoot him. Okay. So if we want to enter combat. Yeah. Roll initiative. Wow. 
And real quick, um, so if I'm if I stopped at the guy at the center, how far away from this dude am I now? From the guy at the center or the guy in D three in uh where the skull Where the skull the skull guy is. That's north about forty feet. Cool. Is that in the same large room or did he go into a separate room? Separate room. That's what I thought. It's oh, just so like... I can't see I can't see him. No, absolutely not. Got it. Okay. You can't even see, see, the, I see the... you don't even see Rollercoast because Rollercoast is getting as far um, away as possible. I could see what room they jetted into, though. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Um, all right. That's going to be that. 25 to 20. 20 to 15. Oh, no. 16. 15 to 10. 12. Sorry, mine was a 17. I didn't realize I was muted. Ten to five. Seven. Okay, so it's the death's head of balls turn. Okay, got that. He's going to close the distance on you, Rollercoast. Okay. And he's going to multi attack. Sick. Two daggers. Those little savvy boys. A natural 20 and an 18. Classic. And it's going to be two of those. Eighteen piercing damage. <laughs> I look great. Phenomenal. Just and he's cool. going to use stunning gaze. Oh. Is he? So make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Not good at those. Oh, it's a nat twenty. Nice. So you resist it as you feel his weird-ass face and no hair, skin, on skull magically attack you. You start to feel your muscles freeze up, and then you shrug it off. Uh, cool. So now it's Rollercoast, your turn. I've learned my lesson. I action disengage and run away back to my party. He's going to take a attack of opportunity. Even if I actually Action. disengage? Oh, you disengage. Good yeah, call. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, so you're back down in 29. Um, Hiding behind either Jerry or Kairos. <laughs> yeah, so, I, was, I was only like 30 feet away from yeah. you. Yeah, so he ran by you, Kairos, and <laughs> looking <laughs> fine. And then you saw a flash really fast run past the doorway to where you saw Rollercoast go. Heard a quick, like, <laughs> and then, <laughs> then Rollercoast came uh, fur poofed out, running running out back to where you're at. Clutching your, like, kidney where <laughs> you just got shanked. Watch out, he, he stabs really good. Stabs really good, got it. So, um, yeah. Uh, That's it. Yep. Jerry? Jerry's going to run up to where uh, Kairos is. And then... You guys aren't in the next room, right? You're staying in D29? Yeah, we're both in D29. Okay. So I run up to be with Kairos, and I just get out my javelin, and I try to throw the javelin at the guy. Yep. And I miss because I rolled a two. Won't do it. <laughs> All right. 
now it's Mortlock's turn, the guy on the island, and he's going to turn to you, Jarvis, and use all of his actions to say, I told you, you shouldn't take this guy on unless you were prepared. Am I going to help you, or am I going to save my skin? And that's his turn. Jarvis. Cool. Uh, how does conversation work in combat? Is it an action? If it's a long bit, then yes. But if you're like a sentence, then it was free action. Okay, follow up question. To get a shot at this guy from the room I saw him into, how many feet would I need? How far would I need to go? Like, could I reach him in one turn? Like, can I be within eyesight of him in one turn? Yes. Okay. Because he... Going... Uh... We can't see the north room in the image you gave us. Yeah. Oh. Well, let me fix that, guys. Thought that, that might help. help me. Yeah, it cuts off at the top of D29. There's the whole gall darn map. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, dang. Got so, it. We are... D29. Yep. And he went into D33 or D31? 33. 33. Okay. And these are five scopes. Got it. So he's kind of tucked in the corner of D33. Uh, Jerry probably, it doesn't matter because Jerry missed, but Jerry probably couldn't have used a spear. Um, mm -hmm. You guys know he's kind of tucked around the corner and you'd have to get on the stairs to probably hit him. Okay. Okay, um, I'm going to just use my action to um, speak, and then I'm going to uh, hold my position momentarily. Turn to the guy and say, "We've we've seen we've we've seen many and bleh, we've seen many in here, and we've taken many down. We'll help you if you help us." Squints at you, staring down at you, his scarred half of his face uh, very much vividly in your mind as you're saying that. Uh, yeah, you don't know what he's going to do, but he kind of is squinting at you, sizing you up. Whether it's to help or hurt, we'll find out. Uh, Kairos. All right. And can, uh, yeah, oh, what no, do you want to do? I'm done. I'm done. Okay. I forgot I used my action to talk. Kairos. Um, I would like to go take up the space just at the bottom of the stairs there. Okay. Like, block the way, essentially. Okay. Um, after seeing my, my cat friend run by getting shanked. I'm going to pull my shield out um, and take the dodge action in blocking that doorway. All right. Um, and I'm going to... I shout out something along the lines of, like, be gone, fiend. Or be gone, undead. I didn't think about it very much clearly. Uh, <laughs> but something like that. Okay. I invoke Hor's name in a curse to banish him. Not okay. mechanically, just speech-wise. <laughs> All right. So he's going to step out so he can see you mm -hmm. and throw some daggers at you. So he's got disadvantage, and I got my shield. I need to equip that back. He's 20 feet away from you. Got it. With disadvantage, it's a 1 on the first one. And a... 15 to hit on the second one. No, sir. Catch that on my shield. And then Ding. stunning gaze at you. Make a wisdom save. Yes. 
stunned like a mofo. That's a five. Okay, you're stunned, and you know what that means. Yep. Okay. It means I'm very happy he did that after and not before. <laughs> yeah, because this guy keeps forgetting. Because uh, it actually does say, uses stunning gaze and makes two dagger attacks. Fuck. All right. So it is Rolikos, your turn. He, once he does that, throws some daggers, he goes back west to where you originally saw him, Rolikos. You can't see him where you're at. And I oh. start to sway and my shield arm starts to drop. <laughs> I am not going up there. I am just going to hold an attack until he pops back out. Okay. So, Jerry, you're going to hold your longbow attack, I'm assuming. Yes. Okay. Jerry. Um, I guess Jerry, Jerry runs to where the guy is. Uh, You're going to skip past the stunned Kairos and run into the room? Um, does I, does that, is that allowed? Yeah. I'm just, I just want to make sure. Yeah. Okay. So that'll yeah. be, 10, 15, 20. how much movement do you have? 30. So you're going to be right at the the D, the leading the front edge of the D on D33. And he uh, is like I'm at the bottom of the stairs or I'm at the top of the stairs. Uh so you're like right at the bottom. You're not you're still over 5 feet away from him. Oh, okay. I uh, just I just go, hey, I'll see you soon, buddy. You, he starts using his stunning gaze on you, but nothing happens quite yet. <laughs> Mortlock's turn. Looking at you, Jarvis. He grunts, picks up his great club, and starts running into the room. And he's not going to make it. He only gets just to the top of the stairs. And, uh, yeah, that's his turn. Oh, he cool. could actually... No, he's going to use his heavy crossbow. That's a fucking three. Jesus. Uh, Jarvis. I follow suit with him, and I make it to... Uh, right about where he is. If right, right about where he is, exactly. Yeah. And then um, I can see him yep. if, he, if he was able to fire a shot. I am going to send three Scorching Rays. Roll your attacks. Test. A 19. A... They weren't plus anything, right? Uh, oh, no, they're plus five. Uh, so 23, 24, sorry, 24, 17, and 14. First two hit. Okay. And I believe they have 2d6 each. Yep, 2d6 fire damage. 10 damage. Okay. He's going to use his reaction to reduce that to zero. So visibly, I see that it doesn't look like it hit him, or... It absorbs into his bare skull. Cool. And a rune lights up on his skull. Cool. He doesn't seem affected. Cool. What's the second one? Or was that total for all of them? Oh, I think... Oh, it was... Uh, no, I rolled all my... I rolled all damage. Okay. So I rolled them... I, there were two... two I rolled 2d6 um, at the same time. What was the, what was uh, the, the first one? The second one was uh, doesn't really matter, but like it was yeah, it was four and it was ten damage. It was four and six. Okay, so he takes six damage. Okay, sorry, my bad. No problem. Makes sense why you're asking now. All right. Anything else? Um, I am going to kind of step back away so he I'm not in vision of him. And. Do I see any like anything visible on Kairos that makes me think he's stunned, or yeah. does he just look normal? He looks stunned as fuck. Okay. 
I don't know what's so stun basically just looks like he's like he can't move, right? Yeah, I mean you I'm, can I'm it, dazed, I'm stunned, I'm gotcha. Okay. Yeah, whatever you representation game, Yeah. Know? Okay. To me in Maybe. this situation it would be like almost frightened. Uh but it's more just like st stone cold still. And uh his shield is by his side, which in a situation like this you it would be weird to see okay. so yeah you you yeah uh can i bonus action then to say um kairos needs help sure yeah i shout it so that my entire party can hear and then i step back just just in, oh no i don't have any more movement left so i'm stuck yep that's it all right so uh kairos you use your turn to get unstunned sweet shake it shield comes back up um, and then I'm done. And, uh... Just context for me, because I've never seen stun before. How does that, how does it work? It's, you're incapacitated, and then you just roll to get out of it on your turn? Uh, de it depends on the effect, but this one is, it ends at the end of his turn. So, oh, okay. he spent, I was just kind of using weird turn... It's just basically he can't... He loses a turn. Okay, cool. Now I know. Uh, but it can be different depending on what the effect is. Back to the top of the round, Vaz screams out to... Uh, you hear him go, Zav! Little help. And... Uh, Never's gonna enter the battle as her disguised self fades and you see... A much younger woman uh, start to approach behind you, Kairos. And she's going to have a terrible fucking... <laughs> I used a divine sense on her and everything. Indeed. That jerk. That doesn't... That's just... Yeah, it's not disguise self. Yeah. No, no, it's only if she was an undead or something. Yeah. And also disguising herself. So Vaz is going to see Mortlock and take on a different countenance like he wants to finish the job on this giant person and is going to stunning gaze Morty. And Morty fails. And then he's going to dagger him, which means uh, he's incapacitated and the creature automatically fails strength, dexterity, saving throws, attack rolls against the creature have advantage. Nat 20 on the first. 25 on the second. Oh, he soaked up a hit. Good job, buddy. Two, two hits, in fact. Two, two hits. Okay, get stabbed by these thrown daggers a bunch. And Morty's the brute, right? Yeah, okay, the burned, so guy with the burned face. Sure. Thank you. Yep. Rollercoast. Uh, now seeing this <clears throat> woman appear, I'm going to shoot at her because she's visible to me, correct? Yeah, she's in D29 with you. Nebra. Yeah, Nebra. Is, I'm is gonna now shoot at her. It's a 19 to hit. Uh, one sec. I have... Here we go. Yes, that hits. 10 damage. Okay. That will be my turn. Alright. Jerry. How far back is Nebra from me? She's back the room you came from but you're very close to Vaz the skin yeah. the skull guy yeah um you said I was still like five feet away from yeah you're Vaz. you're super close okay yeah I run up to him and try to hit him with the great axe yep the 15 yeah that just hits 15 is the AC Sweet. 
And that is 12 damage. He's going to use his reaction to take zero. Damn, legendary uh, actions. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. Mortlock's turn. Jerry just kind of like looks at his axe. He's like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, it's just like he gains an extra... I should have ex uh, described it, but he gains extra speed likely magically because you haven't seen someone move with this much dexterity and you swing and miss when you thought you were going to hit and uh, uh mortlock is stunned so he's going to spend his turn getting unstunned jarvis uh so seeing this woman that was disguised behind me i quickly turn around and i throw a firebolt in her direction um yep. real quick before i'm gonna use my bonus action to rage Okay, sounds good. 15. Barely hit. Yep. Uh, three damage. Okay. And um, I step now back out of line of sight from him through that room. So you're going to go to the bottom of the stairs? Yes. Kairos. So Jarvis is right next to you. Where am I? Okay, so Jarvis is right next to me. At the bottom of the stairs, leading from is... 29 to 33. And what's her face is where exactly? Basically like 20 feet behind you. 20 feet behind me farther. Okay. Uh, perfect. 15, so I'm 20. going to, as I'm approaching her, as I'm stalking up to her with my maul, I'm just saying, like, you falsely took our generosity, now you'll take horse vengeance! And I, uh, use my bonus action to channel divinity vow of enmity her. Uh-huh. Which gives me advantage on all my attacks against her. Nice. For one minute, or until she drops to zero HP or falls unconscious. Cool. And that is a crit with advantage. Nice. And a good damage roll. So that's 10, 20, 25 points of damage. Uh, yeah, how do you destroy her? <laughs> I knock her head clean off. <laughs> it comes off a lot easier than even you expected. Just kind of like Velcro. Like I, like I, I, I'm playing T-ball, basically. I imagine she's shorter than me. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I have a, a maul. Yeah, I play T ball. Oh yeah, her her blood covered dried head is flies and hits the wall and her body falls to the floor. I just wish I, I had a smite, but I don't. I'm all out. <laughs> it would just be more satisfying. Uh oh, I'm done. <laughs> I was just imagining that these cultists would probably enjoy listening to Let the Bodies Hit the Floor by that one band. <laughs> Uh, would. Back to the top of the round, Vaz is going to go and do the same thing to Morty. Let's see if Morty went, Morty can take it. Morty, that's two nat ones. Stunned again. Yep, that's going to hit. And that's definitely going to hit. That's a... Eighteen damage as these two daggers come and hit Morty right in the base of the neck. He is looking extremely rough. That's Vaz's turn. Rollercoast. Can I use my feline agility to get into the northeastern corner of D thirty three? Yes. I will do that and then take a shot. <clears throat> do it. Skeletor to 10. Oh, no, that's not right. So 14. Just misses. Dang. Anything else? That'll be it. Jerry. Jerry takes another swing with the axe. Ooh, yeah. It's a 24. Indeed. Let's see. With, uh, I can't, let's see, so, 10 damage. Cool. He's looking rough. 
You slash I into use... him. Yeah, I use the dull. The dull <laughs> you <stuff>. smack him. <laughs> you smack him on his left shoulder, and uh, he goes, "Ow!" And you hear like a. <laughs> Mortlock is stunned. Can't do anything, Jarvis. Jarvis goes up the stairs, peeks down the room, throws a firebolt. Uh, 15. Yes, hits, barely. Five damage. It's been just a lot of you guys running between the rooms. <laughs> and, uh, Kairos. I'm going to run to the room I'm not in. Um, <laughs> Do the do the thing. When uh, I kind I, of get out, I'm sorry, I get out of the the stairwell, so I'm not blocking it. Okay, yeah. Um, can I get all the way up to him? Um, I doubt. No, you can't. Back, yeah. You're basically um, where the where the three on D33 is the first three. Okay, is that far enough to interpose myself between him and Mort? Yes. I will try to interpose myself between him and Morty. It, um, you think it may give. Yeah. Might It might. Um, I'm also going to take, I'll use my action to take the dodge action. Okay. In case he targets me. All right. Back to Vaz. And he is going to try and finish off Morty. Come on, Morty. Come on with your wisdom. Yeah, that'll do. That's a 19. Not stunned. He did it. And 10 and 9. Won't... Daggers go flying. Freaks out a little. Vaz freaks out a little. Not being able to stun Mortlock. Maybe his incoming head being smashed flashes before his eyes. And that's Vaz's turn. Rollercoast. You're muted. Shoot at him. Do it. Uh, no, that's a not one. Okay. Jerry. That'll be it. Swings again. That is a 17. Yep. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm not quick on the adding all the bonuses. Uh... That's 17. 17 total damage. How do you want to kill him? Ooh. Mm. How about... How about I just... Ch I chop, like, right, like, down one of his shoulders. So he, he's kind of, like, got a big gash in his shoulder. And it's his one of his arms is, like, kind of, like, falling off. Yeah. He's, like, split in half, kind of. Your great axe is kind of dull, so it's almost like part slashing, part just your pure force and strength is just ripping the arm off. And, uh, yeah, you get a little bit of rib cage and maybe a lung pops out. And I go, I have a great personality. I can be pretty disarming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, Jerry. Ah, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. At nice. which point... Go ahead. Mortlock falls to his knees and asks for medical help. Can any of you, are any of you healers in any way? Sure am, buddy. And I just pat him on the back really hard and give him my last one point of lay on. <laughs> that is a 20% increase. I think. <laughs> so. And like compared to like the surge of silver light that I shoved into Jerry when I did it before, like this is like this a, is the whoop. spark of a lighter, like. <laughs> boop. But I hit him. I, it's a hearty pat on the back. Okay. So, so so it's like pretty close to maybe taking a point away. It's so oh, yeah. hard. Okay. And that's where we're gonna leave it until next week. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. Thanks. We didn't die. I wanted to search the mage tonight. Saturday. I've almost died a couple times. <laughs> Which mage? I assume the dis the woman that cast the sky self was Nebra? a mage. Yeah. Maybe she had just really sharp nails and she was about to scratch us. We will know. find out next week. Yep. <laughs> that face. Anything going on with you guys? No, no. not currently. Got no rage left. In life, though. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. Oh, <laughs> Dave, you're a barbarian and 
IRL? <laughs> we never see that side of him, but Dave actually rages on the daily. On the five. <laughs> and it, place to do it doesn't give you uh, resistance to boredom, which is unfortunate. Uh, if you don't have any social medias to plug, pause for anyone? No? Okay. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jake Friday on Instagram at Jake of the Friday. Follow Venture Ventures at Venture Ventures on Instagram and Twitter. I'll get these episodes edited up and such in podcast form, and we upload them on YouTube. You can watch them there. And we also have a previous campaign that's currently on pause on YouTube and in podcast form that you can uh take a listen to if you like Ooh, i hope we can start that one back up at some point i love that character yeah it's in a really good interesting spot uh, i like that you uh dropped the name rylos in this in this session that was fun yeah yeah it's a lot of os <laughs> a lot of names that end in os i've caught myself doing that a few times so yeah next week monday 7 p.m we'll play again get out of the dungeon of the dead three for fuck's sake <laughs> and uh yeah thanks for watching be excellent to others and excellent to yourself as well see you guys later